Feature Friday. The freshest. <laughs> okay, so this is really exciting. We watched Kule Desma for the first time like a few weeks ago when she was here in London in 80, in 1989, I think. We watched oh, that. Yeah, holy was, shit. She was here in London and it was amazing and she sang amazingly in the in the Royal Albert Hall and we were like, Wow, oh my god. So you guys were like, check this out. This is on the wish bus. That's right. So here, here we are. That's you that's you got? He oh no. Wait, so I think I'm in love is in English, mate. Oh okay. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Style. Oh, we love a bit of brush. Oh, we love a lot of bit of more bolero. That's a bolero feel. Those Spanish guitars do it for me, you know? You go, girl. She won at life. What the fuck? Damn. Don't even want you out of my sight. You are in my thoughts all day and night. I can't get you out of my mind. I think I'm in love. She has a. a she has. <laughs> <laughs> she has an edge <laughs> she has an edge of Shania Twain with like with like Celine Dion a bit and sounds so young and fresh like her voice is so refreshing and so like personality packed I don't even know how to explain it yes a lot certainly has a lot of character yeah ah dude what the guacamole? I, just, I, I love that. You know, I was thinking, I was like, what? I wonder if she can speak Spanish. Yeah, totally. She almost, I she think she could. she could do bang on boleros, boleros. dude. You know, or um, bachata. I reckon she could even do bachata if she wanted to. You know who I would love to hear singing bachata? Pilita Corrales. She would she sing did. the hottest, most glamorous bachata in the history of bachatas ever. I wonder if she ever did. You know? No. Am I the only one in that realm of existence? Do any of you listen to bachata? Do you even know what bachata is? Yeah. Please let me introduce you to El Bachata, we the do. weekend. <laughs> <laughs> the weekend bachata. Let's do a bachata special. Oh, wow! Good idea, eh? Bro! I'm just full of them today, really. <laughs> I'm just... <laughs> No, it is that. That glorious Stefan Edge. Dude, Doesn't he give you like that shit? Just had a, a belt. It's glorious. Yeah. And then some conga. It's fucking. It turns into a right bolero, and then we could evolve it into a. Oh damn. We could evolve it into a. We're a mess today. Sorry, just my run. It's water, people. YouTube. This is water. It's just drugs. Ever stop talking crazy nonsense. <laughs> Go on. People know I don't even drink, dude. It's okay, but I, YouTube algorithm does not. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, yes, you could literally evolve this track into an absolute Spanish classic. Yeah, you could. I don't know if it's originally like a bolero feel. I don't know I think what the song is. I don't, I don't, I'm not familiar with this track either. Go on. But also my memory's ass, so. We could have literally heard this song yesterday and I would have forgotten. That's also true. Tell me that you can't tell me, please tell me that you also feel the way that I do. Girl, oh my god. Yes, yes, yes. Can't describe. Oh, she's in this and share, we can see a bit of that tricep insertion there. Look. 
Yeah, dude, she's got good genetics. Yeah. Okay. You can see that fuck. You can see that tricep insertion. Dude. That's good shit. I wonder if she does weight. What exactly am I feeling right now? Hey, you don't look that good if you don't stay in shape, dude. Sometimes I'm actually not a fan of like tracks, you know, like when they don't have a real drama or a real oh, yeah, yeah, percussion yeah, yeah. stuff. Like that. But that that track is actually all right. It's fine, no? Yeah, that's it's fine. You know, it's nice little little feels. These because usually when you have a track or when you make like uh, some drumming feels uh -huh. through like uh, a computer, yeah. or, like ah, oh, you sound a bit beat tech. It's dum da dum dum, <laughs> and it's like oh come on, bro. Show me some chops, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but you know this track has nice little Dynamics, groove. Dynamics, yeah. It has yeah. good, nice groove. Very I nice. think it's the nature of the song itself. Is like, oh, you got to do it justice, even yeah. in the track. Can you tell my drumming fucking? Uh, I'm inspired at the moment, mate. <laughs> I'm inspired. And every day, I think I've been fucking playing for like thirty six hours straight. <laughs> <laughs> Efra wakes up, drums. <laughs> Goes to bed, drums. <laughs> yeah. Actually, yeah, I was learning like some, you know, some nice. I was just. Practicing in Paradidos last night at fucking one o'clock in the morning. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Tough. I know. <laughs> Very rough. Hey, Very tough. The, <laughs> you know what's really cool though? The Paradidos. The, para, para, the nature of her natural melodics that are so like refined to her that you can tell the years of singing. She's done uh, this for a while. Also, also, I wanted to point out that you don't you don't get to sound that fresh and youthful if you don't take care of your health overall you yeah know, please like elaborate on that because i don't understand why vocal health is is obviously the number one thing that you gotta take care of like discipline on how you talk discipline on how much water you drink how how well hydrated you keep yourself and not just preparation before you start singing but throughout your whole life because the the better hydrated you are the that lubricant the, yeah the the healthier your singing factory will be right um the healthiest uh, that's that's what i meant uh but then your physical uh, prime also has a lot to do with it because if you're overweight or you're uh um sedentary a lot of the times your breath economy goes to crap your uh a use of uh, muscle groups goes to crap like you you also need to be fit physically so you need a well-balanced diet and you need high iron levels and you need to uh you know be on your prime your whole life and that's a discipline people don't really think about it often but it, diet is it goes hand in hand with singing because if you have too many sugary food you you're constantly phlegmy or or dairy products cause a lot of like unnecessary fluids in the throat and they they with uh with years of bad habits those things slowly start piling up and the way you sing and the way you sound um well, certainly... so it's really important to have a healthy lifestyle to maintain that youthfulness in your voice too i think the reason why people don't relate both and i mean i do have a question regarding that but in yeah. a second but i think the reason why people don't uh correlate both like you know dieting or, or that somewhat healthy lifestyle um and singing is because you see the results of that in a period of like a 20 10 to 15 year that's period that's right it's a really long yeah it's a lifelong investment, really, right. uh, because you do hear of all these rappers and all these singers and all these rock stars and all these other singers that, you know, have absolutely trash vocal uh, practices and terrible habits after they perform or before they perform. Uh, sometimes, you know, you get people who are very unhealthy um, 
and they still sound great in the six years of their careers when they boomed, you know? Yeah, in their prime. Uh, but you look at them 25 years later, 20 years later, and it's it's kind of sad sometimes, you know? Mm. You see this a lot in the rock genre. Well, you actually see it. Uh, they had to change the perspective in the classical and the opera singing too. Because, you know, uh, there was this false belief that uh, being overweight will help you with a body support. Yeah. Uh, with, with singing support. And... It, obviously science proved it not to be a fact actually proved it to be a detrimental uh like a what is it called a barrier sure. for for a economy of breath and breath flow and and actually long lasting careers um well, it just, but it just yeah. can't be healthy dude it, it's it's really not but there was that misconception because yeah. that seemed to be the the somata type yeah. That would always succeed to the top, and 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 it used to be taught uh, a lot of the times. You gotta put on weight to sing I classical music because you need the force, you need the strength that comes from the fatness. It so, comes like you know, yeah, sort of like a power power lifters approach to strength. Yeah, it's like you get you need muscle mass, you calories. Need, yeah. yeah, but it, it proved like science later on proved that not to be the case, and it is just a, a chain of bad habits. So what if? you were more in the realm of yeah so m more in the aspect of a power lifter uh you you have like, where you're packing calories and yes. you're packing also fat because you yes. need those energy stores but not to be overweight obese like they used to believe that it was the, the whole point I, yeah all these people are here's what i think if you're too skinny you're not gonna have a long lasting uh on, on realistic expectations of no it's not gonna be a, it, that's not being disciplined either that's actually a bad habit too right. so both extremes are bad it's just having to find that enough of both sure. having finding that balance not being overweight but then not also being underweight none of them will will help you to have a long-lasting singing career uh, so you gotta maintain your health it's about finding balance right, right. so okay. yeah Go Stamina on. is a huge thing, especially when you're singing. Go on, go on. Yeah. Tell me that you can't tell me, please. Tell me that you also feel the way that I do. She reminds me of my godmother. <laughs> I love that, man. Just so groovy. Play that last bit again. Oh, what a legend. On Wish 107.5. Yeah, dude. Freaking hell. That woman excels. She just has that whole... Oh. Holy glamour shit. thing to her it's just fantastic delivery cool ledesma just really fast i just want to find mm -hmm. this out she is 66 years old Woo -hoo -hoo! and how how uh, what year was this this 2020 it was only last year yeah so i would imagine she she took good care Ooh. of her voice that's a disciplined singer right there you don't get to sound that youthful just by luck Think so. That yeah. is not that. That's not the case. Well, Woo. let us know uh, perhaps more about Cool Ledesma, Ledesma and uh, what else we check out next, or what other performances from any other artists are more than welcome. We do read every comment. Goodbye. Yay.